kids. I'm Charlie. Welcome to Name the Animals. Today, we're going to learn the names of some amazing animals and how to spell them. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hi there, I'm a bee. Spells B. E. E. Can you say B? Great, now let's spell it together. B. E. E. B. And I'm buzzing with excitement to tell you about myself. I'm a small but incredibly important insect with black and yellow stripes. My body is divided into three parts. The head, thorax, and abdomen. And I have six legs and two pairs of wings that help me fly from flower to flower. I live in a hive with many other bees. And we all work together to keep our colony thriving. My hive is like a busy city, full of workers, drones, and our queen. The queen's job is to lay eggs, while the worker bees, like me, do many different tasks. One of my favorite jobs is collecting nectar and pollen from flowers. I use my long, straw-like tongue to sip the sweet nectar and store it in my special honey stomach. When I return to the hive, I pass the nectar to other bees, who help turn it into delicious honey. Pollen sticks to my hairy body as I move from flower to flower. And when I visit the next flower, I help pollinate it, which means I help plants grow fruits and seeds. I also help build and clean our hive. We make honeycomb from wax we produce, and the honeycomb is where we store our honey and pollen and raise our young. We're very organized and work together to keep everything running smoothly. When I need to communicate with my fellow bees, I do a special dance called the Woggle Dance. This dance tells other bees where to find the best flowers. It's like giving directions using my movements. Being a bee means being busy, helpful, and essential to our environment. I help plants grow grow, produce honey, and keep my hive healthy and strong. Life as a bee is a constant adventure of flying, dancing, and making the world a sweeter place. Hi there, I'm a butterfly, spells B, U, T, T, E, R, F, L, Y. Can you say butterfly? Great, now let's spell it together. B, U, T T E R F L Y Butterfly, and I'm fluttering with excitement to tell you about myself. I'm a beautiful insect with colorful wings that come in all sorts of patterns and shades. My body is made up of three parts, the head, thorax, and abdomen, and I have six legs and two antennae that help me sense the world around me. I start my life as a tiny egg laid on a leaf. After a while, I hatch into a caterpillar, also known as a larva. As a caterpillar, I eat lots of leaves and grow quickly. Once I'm big enough, I form a chrysalis, or pupa, around myself. Inside this protective shell, I undergo an amazing transformation called metamorphosis. When I'm ready, I emerge from the chrysalis as a butterfly with wings. At first, my wings are soft and crumpled, but soon they expand and harden, and I'm ready to fly. I use my long, straw-like tongue, called a proboscis, to sip nectar from flowers. This nectar gives me the energy I need to flutter around. I play an important role in nature by helping plants reproduce. As I visit flowers to drink nectar, pollen sticks to my body and gets transferred to other flowers. This process, called pollination, helps plants produce fruits and seeds. I love to bask in the sunshine to warm my wings, which helps me fly better. I also have a keen sense of sight and can see a wide range of colors, including some that humans can't see. My bright colors and patterns can help me blend in with my surroundings or warm predators that I'm not tasty to eat. Being a butterfly means being graceful, colorful, and a vital part of the ecosystem. I bring beauty to the world, help plants grow, and enjoy the freedom of flying from flower to flower. Life as a butterfly is a journey of transformation, exploration, and wonder. Hi there, I'm a camel, spells C A M E L. Can you say camel? Great, now let's spell it together. C A M E L. Camel. And I'm delighted to share my story with you. I'm known for my distinctive humps and my incredible ability to thrive in hot, arid environments like deserts. My sturdy body is perfectly designed for life in harsh conditions. I have either one hump, like a dromedary camel, or two humps, like a Bactrian camel. 
My humps store fat, which I can convert to water and energy when food and water are scarce. This special adaptation helps me survive long journeys without needing to eat or drink much. My long legs and wide, padded feet are perfect for walking on sandy terrain. I can travel great distances in the desert, carrying heavy loads and helping humans transport goods. My thick, bushy eyebrows and long eyelashes protect my eyes from the sun and sand, and I have the ability to close my nostrils to keep out blowing sand. I love to eat tough, dry plants that other animals might avoid. My mouth has tough lips and strong teeth, allowing me to chew four knee plants without getting hurt. When I do find water, I can drink up to 40 gallons in one go to stay hydrated. I live in herds and have a social nature. We communicate using various sounds such as grunts and moans, and by using body language. Our herds help protect us from predators and make it easier to find food and water. Being a camel means being resilient, strong, and resourceful. I play a vital role in my ecosystem and in human cultures, especially in desert regions. Life as a camel is a journey of endurance, adaptation, and companionship, making me a true survivor of the sands. Hi there, I'm a crab spells. C. R. A. B. Can you say crab? Great, now let's spell it together. C. R. A. B. Crab. And I'm excited to tell you about myself. I'm a fascinating creature with a hard shell or exoskeleton that protects my body. My shell comes in many colors, from bright red to sandy brown, helping me blend in with my surroundings. I have 10 legs, but my front pair are special pincers called claws. I use my claws for catching food, defending myself, and even communicating with other crabs. My other 8 legs help me scuttle sideways across the beach or the ocean floor. I live in a variety of places, from sunny beaches and rocky shores to the deep sea and freshwater rivers. My home can be a burrow in the sand, a crevice in the rocks, or even the inside of a discarded shell. I'm very adaptable and can thrive in many environments. My diet is quite varied. I enjoy eating algae, plankton, mollusks, and even detritus, which is decaying organic matter. My claws are perfect for grabbing, cutting, and crushing my food. I have a special way of breathing using gills, which allow me to extract oxygen from the water. Even when I'm out of the water, I can still breathe as long as my gills stay moist. I'm also known for my molting process. As I grow, I shed my old shell and form a new, larger one. This is a vulnerable time for me, so I hide until my new shell hardens. Being a crab means being versatile, strong, and resourceful. I play an important role in my ecosystem by helping to keep it clean and balanced. Life as a crab is a mix of exploration, scavenging, and the constant search for a safe and cozy home. Hi there, I'm a cobra, spells C O B R A. Can you say cobra? Great, now, let's spell it together. C O B R A. Cobra, and I'm excited to tell you about myself. I'm a fascinating and often misunderstood snake known for my impressive hood and potent venom. My sleep, scaly body can come in various colors and patterns, depending on my species, which helps me blend into my environment. One of my most distinctive features is my hood, which I can flare out when I feel threatened. This makes me look larger and more intimidating to potential predators. I also hiss loudly and sway back and forth as a warning. My hood is created by the extension of the ribs behind my head, which stretches the loose skin. I live in a variety of habitats, from forests and grasslands to deserts and swamps. I prefer warm climates and can be found in many parts of Asia and Africa. I'm a skilled hunter and use my keen sense of smell and excellent eyesight to locate my prey. My diet mainly consists of small mammals, birds, and other reptiles. I catch my prey using a quick strike delivering venom through my sharp fangs. My venom is a powerful mix of neurotoxins that can paralyze my prey, making it easier to swallow. I'm also known for my remarkable defensive behavior. If I feel threatened, I raise the front part of my body and spread my hood to appear larger. Some of my relatives, like the Indian Cobra, even have distinctive markings on their hood that resemble eyes, which help deter predators. When it comes to reproduction, female cobras lay eggs, and some species are known to guard their nests until the eggs hatch. This protective behavior is quite rare among snakes. Being a cobra means being adaptable, powerful, and respected in the animal kingdom. I play a crucial role in controlling rodent populations and maintaining ecological balance. 
Life as a cobra is a blend of stealth, strength, and the constant dance between predator and prey. It was great having you. See you later. We hope to see you again soon. Bye for now. Keep exploring and having fun. See you next time. Thanks for being here. Until next time, goodbye. We had a fantastic time. See you on our next adventure. Stay curious and adventure us. Bye for now. We hope you enjoyed it. See you again soon. Thanks for joining us. Can't wait for next time. Remember to explore and learn. Goodbye. We loved every moment. See you later. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more fun. We appreciate your company. See you next time.